Mac Method Gang. We back with another video. So you want to become magnetic. You want to be able to attract people to you. This is a guide on how to do that. This is what you need to do in order to attract people to you, men, women, everyone. So before the video even starts, I really appreciate the support lately. It's been going crazy. So just keep it up. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. If you're a regular viewer and you're not subscribed, boy, come join the team, man. Come join the Mac Method gang. But let's get right into it, right? So we're, I split this off into external things you can do and internal things you can do. So we're going to start with the external things, right? So first things first is be handsome and attractive. <laughs> Once you're handsome and attractive, automatically people are drawn to you. Women, even men, not in that way. They're just more likely to want to actually chop it up with you because you're someone that looks good. You're someone that looks clean cut. You know what I'm saying? You're just someone that they want to be around because your demeanor, just how you look, man. I, I get that all the time, all the time. <laughs> my job at my workplace, people are always chopping it up with me. Obviously, I'm helping them out. But even people that didn't even come in for necessarily me, they always end up chopping it up with me or just randomly coming to me like hey man i like this i like that i like your shirt i like this i like that so it's just it's a way to draw people in right i talk about branding a lot your branding has to be on point what is your branding your exterior how you look do you have a nice cut do you have your grooming right you know what i'm saying your face your do you look like you take care of yourself your style your swag what are you wearing how are you present yourself how are you are you moving? How are you carrying yourself? All that stuff matters because it's your branding. Think about it like this. I talk about the external a lot, but if you really watch my other videos, that's not just about body game and all this stuff. I always talk about internal things, but that's besides the point. The point is that marketing, a big part of marketing is the brand. What am I looking at? If I'm looking, for example, I go to the library, right? I want to get a book about money. There's one book that shows a big hundred dollar bill on it that says how to make money or how to everything you need to learn about money. That's book one. Book two says it's just a black book that just says it doesn't say anything. It's just a black book. But the book is about money, right? Which book do you think I'm going to go to? The first book, because the first book, the branding is telling me, oh, this is how you make money. There's a huge dollar bill on it. I'm going to go with this book. That book might be horrible. And book two might be the best book about money. It might have everything you need to know about money, but I wouldn't know that because the branding sucks. The branding is crap. I would have to actually go there. I wouldn't even want to get that book because I it, the branding is off, bro. I'm not going to. It's the same thing with people. If the branding is off, if you're, if you just look, you know what I'm saying you don't take care of yourself, all these things, you're most more likely not to attract anyone because your branding is off. Whether that's good, whether people should do that or not, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the reality, whether that's morally correct, whether that's right or wrong, whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. It's about what happens in reality. And that's what happens in reality. bro. You got to you got to operate on what reality presents to you. And that's the truth. And that's the applies to everything. If something looks nice and something looks well kept, people are more likely to go to that than going down to a rundown, you know what I mean? Something that looks crazy. No one wants to go to that. It just is what it is. So you either get with the program or get left, bro. So that's another thing. Upgrade your looks. I have millions of videos about how to actually do that. So if you want to learn how to go upgrade your looks, watch my videos, bro. I have countless videos on that. You're, you draw people in by the way you look, unique style, body game look like someone on a mission you shouldn't just look like someone on a mission you actually should be on a mission but i'm going to talk about that more on the internal side but like i said unique style you have flavor to you, you have swag to you, your body game like i talk about body game all the time and we just go touch into it body game your physique bro the way clothes fits on you the way you carry yourself the way and you just look like you're on a grind, you're on a mission. People are more likely to go with someone that looks like they know what they're doing. If I look like I know what I'm doing, I'm serious when I have to be. I'm free flowing when I have to be. I'm warm and look approachable when I have to be. Uh, more people are going to go to me because I, I look like someone they can confide in, someone they can trust in, someone that's serious, someone that's really out here doing what they got to do. 
it's just what it is, bro. It just, and you should be like that. You shouldn't just look like that. You should actually be like that, right? But that's just the truth. It's just the truth. If someone's just up in the air and just in space and, and they're just lost and they, bro, who's going to follow your lead? No one, because you look lost. You look like you don't belong. You look like you don't even know what you're doing. Who's going to, who's going to go to you, bro? Not me. <laughs> and now you watching this, you're not even going to go to that person. So you don't want to be that person. You want to be the person that's leading. You don't have to necessarily be a leader on everything, but I'm just saying when you look like you know what you're doing, when you're actually on a mission, when your body's on point, when your posture, you're just, it, it, man, come on, bro. It, it, people are going to go to you women and because a lot of you guys are, are all about women you just want to learn about women bro it, it's simple things like this that you have to do you should do in general anyways for yourself but yes the byproduct is that women are going to be drawn to you i have to say it all the time my job <laughs> you don't even want to know dude i could go on for hours about how much attention i get from just from women from anyone really but especially from women, bro. It's crazy. It's it's actually insane. And it's just because how I carry myself, how I look, and then when they come up to me, I'm actually someone that's approachable and someone that's cool. And I'll talk about that on the internal side again. This video is going to end up being long. I already know I'm trying to go fast, but I'm already long. So let's go to, I just said great posture. You showcase a hero. So part of being having great posture is you're not hunched over you're not with your head down and you make eye contact you know what i'm saying you just that's captivating when someone's speaking to you and they're directly looking in your eyes i'm not saying be a weirdo be a creep and just like you know what i mean but when you're staring at someone literally in their eyes for a longer period of time they're more drawn in it might intimidate a little bit because they're probably not used to someone just staring at them in their eyes but it's really captivating because it's something that most people don't do. It's something unique. It draws you in. It shows that one, you're paying attention. Two, that you aren't you aren't intimidated by them because you have no reason to be male or female. It's just you it shows that you are confident in yourself and it shows that you know how to properly listen to someone, actually be attentive to someone and what they are saying. Posture is very, very important. Eye contact is very, very important to draw people in, especially if we're just talking about drawing anyone in, really. But I'll just talk on the the about drawing women, in, for example. If someone comes in, if a customer comes in, if there are women, it doesn't even have to be a customer wherever you're at, dude. And you look at a female, and you're looking at their eyes off rip. You can tell if they are comfortable with you or not. You know what I mean? You can tell if they're nervous or not because you can see what they do with their eyes. If they stare at you longer than normal, there's probably, I'm not saying there's something there to where you guys are going to end up in love and all this crap, but what I'm saying is that they're drawn to you, they're captivated to you. If they just look at you and they're like, ah, whatever, and you just walk off, clearly it's probably not, they don't care. <laughs> but it's just, it's simple things like this. If they double back, they look at you real quick and then they go back and then they look at you again, you already know I can easily approach this they're probably going to approach me, maybe. Most likely not because they don't, women don't approach you, but you know what I'm saying. The point is that it, you can tell how someone is by their eyes. It draws them in, you know what I mean? Body posture, like I said, you resemble being a hero. When you look like a hero, it just looks like someone you can trust, someone that's like strong, someone that's tall, someone that's just carries themselves at a higher esteem. If I'm hunched over and like this, and, and just like a, a liner, like a d dweller, man, get out of here, bro. I don't want to be on a team with somebody like that. I want to be on a team with someone that shows dominance, someone that shows that they have strength, someone that shows that they have power, someone that shows that they can handle situations. That's what it goes to your mind subconsciously. You don't consciously think about these things when you look at someone, but you just subconsciously, you, you see the characteristics. You see the characteristics from guy A that's like this and guy B that's like this, that's like on a mission, on a grind. That's what I mean by body posture and body language. I talked about body posture, but let's talk about body language, right? Same thing. Carrying yourself in that high way, body language, how you move around people, how you speak to people, how you just, even your stance, even your, even when you're talking to someone directly, like, how are you standing? Are you standing with your arms behind your back? Are you standing with your arms crossed? All this stuff sig symbolizes and signals a lot of things. You know what I mean? 
if you're like this, it, it's depending on what the setting is and all those things, it, it shows you're more closed off, more serious, more, you know what I mean? More on edge. But if you're more open and more just in the moment, close to the person, it shows like you're more, it just shows you're more open, more captivating. You're more free flowing. You're not like some serious, whatever. You can be serious because you can take those both different ways, but you get the point. Body language is huge, 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 huge. Calm and gentle, look genuine, seductive, smile. Serious and firm when you need to be, which is like being masculine, serious and firm. So a lot about me, I actually smile a lot, right? I'm always smiling. That's one, that's one because I have a really nice smile. Two, because I genuinely just like smiling and I'm genuinely a positive, happy person for the most part. So I'll, I get that a lot at my job, actually, all the time. People are like, oh, I really love your smile. You're always smiling. I like being around you things like that because my smile, because it just, I'm not mean mugging everyone. I'm not just like with a serious face for no reason. I'm, you know what I mean? Staring down people. Like, being masculine doesn't just mean that you look serious or you look angry at all times. Like you just look like a, you just look rude. <laughs> just no one's gonna wanna approach someone like that. I get the whole, obviously you wanna be stern, firm when you need to be, but you don't wanna just mean mug everyone at all times. That's some, that's so, you're never going to attract anyone like that. No, one, Who's going to go up to someone like that? That's someone like this. No one, bro. No one's going to go up to someone like that. Only people that are going to go up to someone like that is someone that wants to test you right there on the spot or some, someone that's like, what is this guy's problem type thing. That's the only people, bro. No girl, no guy. No one's doing that, though. Or going up to you, at least. So don't do that. You got to just be normal. When you need to be stern, firm, and serious, then that's your chance to be stern, firm, and serious. But if not, dude, just have a relaxed face, bro. It's smile at people when you see them. They don't have to smile back. That's another thing. People think that, oh, well, he didn't wave back to me. He didn't smile back to me. So now I got to change my whole personality and demeanor. No, bro. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the person's reaction to your action. It matters about what you're doing. I genuinely smile at people just because I like smiling. And that's just what I do. And it's something that I just do. I don't care if they smile back or not. Nine times out of 10, they do. And nine times out of 10, I actually break down their walls easier like that because off rip, they see, oh, this guy's cool. This guy's captivating. This guy's smiling at me for no reason. He didn't even say anything to me, but he's giving me a nice smile. And nine times out of 10, they smile back to me or they chop it up with me. They say, what's up? They chalk up the deuces. It's that simple. It's really that simple. And guess what? You draw them in. Because now they see someone that's, okay, he looks good. He looks attractive. He's body language on point. His icons, he's smiling at me. This guy's someone that I can chop it up with. Nine times out of ten, bro. It's really that simple. Scent keeps them coming. Captivated. Your scent is very important. We are literally drawn in by smelling scents. So it's true. We are literally drawn in to what smells good. Cooking, for example. You cook something that smells really good. You're captivating. Now, that is obviously something that is based off of our literal hunger and our desire to eat food and consume and survive and things like that. But it's still a scent that we smell and it's like, oh, this is good. I want to go to it. Now, when it comes to fragrances like cologne, you know what I'm saying? Perfume, all that stuff. That's still something that that plays with your pheromones, that plays with your just body and things like that. People want to be around things that smell good. You don't, the amount of times I get people that, oh, you just smell different. You smell really good your skin just smells good like people that are near me if i'm you know what i'm saying doing with someone they always tell me that they always tell me that i just have a unique smell to me that just smells good and i tell them grab it it's like you just smell good like you, you you're like you smell different you just smell good and that's that's what you want bro that's what keeps the mm, locked <laughs> so i'm telling you get the scent right and in general why wouldn't you want to smell good? That's the thing I don't get why people walk around here smelling like crap. It makes no sense. But oh, you want to smell good because one, don't you like like smelling good at all times? Because no, I smell fucking good, bro. I got this cologne on, man. It's not black. But in general, when you're near someone that smells good, it just brightens the mood. And this guy smells flat. Especially you're walking by a chick that smells nice. You're like, yo. You smell good, bro. It just is. Like me, I tell people when they smell good or I like a scent. I, it's not even me trying to 
do something with them or get with them or whatever. No, I genuinely just tell them. A coworker the other day, she had this really good perfume. I don't know what. Actually, I know what perfume it was because I smelt it when I went to Macy's, when I went to go buy perfume for my mom. And I knew exactly which one because I just smelled it. Or I just tested it. And I was like, yo. And that perfume was fire. I was going to buy it. But anyways. Anyways, the point is that she walked by and the scent, the breeze was so good. I was like, I was like, yo, you smell good as hell right now. I had to let you know because... I, hey, it, you just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I get that all the time. People always tell me I smell good. So it keeps you captivated. It keeps people captivated with you. They want to be around something that smells good. Who doesn't want to be around something that smells good? No one. Everyone wants to be around someone that smells good, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's self-explanatory. That's that's obvious. You got to come on, bro. Get your grooming up. Get your scent up. Just come on. That's an easy, easy way that gives you so much points. It's not even funny, especially with women. I don't even talk about that a lot. Oh, how to, I'm not a dating coach. I'm not anything like that. I'm not, <laughs> but it's just, it's, it's obvious. This is obvious things that you don't have to be a freaking dating coach to tell someone that, oh, people like when people smell good, especially women. They like things that smell nice. That's why they like flowers. That's why they like fruity fumes and all this crap. It's because it smells good, bro. And then you're sitting here wondering, oh, I wonder why, why has, does she want to be near me? Probably because you smell like crap. You smell like BO, bro. I could have told you that. A five-year-old could have told you that. Anyways, we're done with the external things. These are self-explanatory. Now we're going to go on the internal things because the external things are the branding. I got to make that clear. It is the branding. It is what is the first bait. You see someone that looks, their hair, their whatever, everything looks some point posture, all this stuff smells good. That's the initial grab because they're like, oh, let's see what this guy's about now. You hear this all the time. People said he was good until he opened his mouth or, <laughs> or you can have all these things, but you might grab people's attention and grab them to you. But what are you doing when they're with you? And I'm not just talking about women, guys. I'm talking about both genders, men and, and women, whatever. What are you, what are you about? Your, your external is cool, all this stuff, but you got to remember looks fade. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff fades away, bro. When you get older, all that goes away. So who are you? Your internal. This is what actually matters. This is the most important things. I talk about this a lot because this is something you can do easily, but the internal is really what's actually the most important thing, the branding. And then what's the layers. Now, this is the real, the real thing. So anyways, let's get straight into this. So the internal, by the way, comment down below unchained. If you got this far in the video, I know there's one guy that always watches all my videos full length. A lot of you guys leave my videos within three minutes. So I'm trying to figure out how to get that more consistent or whatever. But Hey, if you got this mark, what are we at? We're probably going to be around what? 17 minutes Comment down below unchained. If you got this far anyways, oh, and leave a like too, if you haven't. So the internal, right? Confident and secure with who you are. Everyone likes someone who is confident you have star power. So when you're confident, bro, you just have star power because they see that oh, this guy is not afraid to be who he is. He's secure with himself. He's not thrown off his square by someone that's quote unquote on his same playing field, someone that has more ability than him, someone that's more whatever than him. He he stays 10 toes. He's on his thing. He, he understands his ability. He understands who he is as a person. He's secure with himself. He's not over here getting jealous and getting all this. No, bro, because you know who you are. Once you're confident in yourself, that is, that is a huge thing that attracts people is confidence. No one wants to be around someone that's always thrown off, off their frame, bro, off their square by any little thing. Someone comes in the spot. Now they're, they want to act funny. They want to act weird. You're jealous all the time. You're doing all this stuff. You're acting like like a girl, bro. You're acting like someone that's just too emotional with everything. You know what I'm saying? That's not confident. You're insecure. You're over here. Dude, I was all these things before. So that's why I can easily talk about this. When you are confident in yourself, confident in your abilities, even if you're good at what you're doing or not, it just shows that you're someone that is obviously willing to learn because you're confident with who you are. Two, if you're already good at what you're doing, you're secure. You know what you're worth. You know how you stand. You know who you are. People like to be with someone who they know who they are. You know what I mean? Like me, I hate being around people that are unconfident. I hate it because it brings your frequency down, your energy down, because they're 
nine times out of ten they're just they're always thinking negatively they're always oh well i can't or the oh, out of here bro i don't want to be around people like that i want to be people that are just killers that are out here that are just they know what it is and uh, obviously this takes time to build but it's not that i hate unconfident people it's just I, I like, even if you're uncomfortable, but if you're showing the will to, you're trying, you're trying to improve, you're trying to do this. To me, that's confidence. That shows competence, confidence and competence. Anyways, authenticity. There's only one you. You don't try to be anyone else. You embrace what and who you are. There's beauty in the flaws. This is fact. There, you know what I'm saying? You got to be authentic. You have to be who you are. There's general traits that are worldwide everyone accepts and you should be off rip you should be confident you should be looking your best with whatever you have you should l present yourself in the best light you should smile at people you should do all these things that doesn't necessarily not make you authentic because you're trying to do these things no that's actually that's actually boosting who you are like it's, it's actually that is who you are already you're just in, I, I can't find the word to say it man you're you're just more of yourself you're exuding that kind of personality that's someone you want to become you already are that person you just have to become it right so that's authenticity you're real you know what i mean you're unique you embrace your flaws we aren't perfect we strive to be perfect but we're not but it is what it is no one's perfect bro as much as we try to be perfect we try to have everything done perfectly and all this stuff you want to be on point but at the same time you're not always on point bro and and that's fine there's beauty in the flaws there's beauty in the struggle there's beauty there's beauty in just being just being you that it, it's simple as that everyone has what they they're unique in in some way you know what i mean we're all different we're similar because we're all human whatever but we're all unique in our own special ways so you just have to embrace what it is and it doesn't matter if someone doesn't like you or not because you can't get caught up in oh well he doesn't like me and she doesn't like me and oh my god like, all this stuff bro you who cares there's like seven billion people on the planet Okay, people that like you and there's people that don't. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, for the most part, you know, can't really think of anyone who doesn't like me. Do I care if anyone does or not? Not, no, I, I don't. I really don't. It's like for you not to like me, it's kind of like just suck because <laughs> for the most part, for the most part, I, I'm really cool. Like, <laughs> is what it is you know what i mean i'm not like but i don't care if you don't or not i gotta change who i am because you don't like me for whatever reason that's your that's your that's on you bro you know what i'm saying it is what it is anyways let's move on so you're emotionally aware and intelligent this is major when you're emotionally aware and intelligent people can come to you with their problems people can feel like they're heard because you're actually listening to them and two you're able to basically trans surf their energy right so if someone's coming at you like um this happened this whatever happened now i'm upset they're depressed they're doing and you're just sitting there listening you don't have half of the time you don't even have to say anything as long as you're just listening to the person and just you can just you're just listening to them you don't even have to respond half the time i don't even respond to anything i just listen i just sit there and listen whether I say anything or not, they just feel comfortable talking to me because they see that I am someone that can listen to them. They, half the time, they don't even want you to say anything. You can. You can certainly if you have advice or you have, you know, but say something. But if you don't and you just pay attention to them, they feel automatically that I'm heard by this guy. I'm actually valued in a way because he's relating to me. He's actually hearing me out. You know what I'm saying? That's another way that you're going to be magnetic because people go to people that they're related to they're relatable to someone that they understand they feel like is empathetic you know what i'm saying i had random people always all the time telling me the problems literally customers that i've never met the same day would tell me problems that i'm like whoa I don't even know you you know what i mean i don't even know you this is the first time i see you and they're telling me problems that is like crazy why because i'm a magnetic i'm someone that they feel comfortable with off the spot off the rip and that happens to me all the time this happens all the time bro it just is what it is it is what it is so let's see your passion this is huge passion is major ambition passion you're saying you have that drive you're on a mission that is major people want to be with someone that's on i was saying in the first part 
the external that you that your posture shows that you're on a mission but when now you have conviction in your words you're passionate you're really going after it when people see me work out they're inspired I, they're inspired bro they lift heavier i see it all the time i train people i literally train with people and talk with people training people all the time when i'm at the gym bro they're gonna hit a pr they're gonna go harder they're gonna every time every single time i've never trained with someone and they don't pr ever ever literally it's actually insane why because the, they see the passion and they see how hard i go and how passionate i am about fitness and health and all this stuff they see it bro they see it, it, it you know what i'm saying it, it just is what it is you will quite literally save people from themselves so intoxic so intoxicating and potent they will join you it's true you will literally save people from themselves because they see someone that's so they're so their passion and ambition to just do what they have to do and want to do is so high that it's like how can you not be drawn to them you see this guy and you're like, damn this is who i want to be like i want to be like this guy i don't want to be him but i want to develop myself to be have that passion whatever i'm doing whether it's fitness whether it's your business whether it's being a doctor a lawyer or what, what it doesn't fucking matter bro it's just the passion to have that when people see that they're just like, damn, this is the guy I need to be around. It's like me. When I see these people killing it, they have their own business. They have their own this. They have their own that. It's like, it's like for, I'm going to just use a personal example. It's like my sister's boyfriend. He has his own business. He has his own thing. This dude is a killer, bro. And every time I'm with him, I see the passion. I see the hunger. And it just makes me hungry. It makes me good. It, it makes me feel like I want to be like that. <laughs> that's how I feel like. People that go to the bank, that's lit. That They're rich. They're lit. They're successful. You know what I'm saying? They have that, you know, they're just, they're just, they're just the killer. You're just like, dang, this is who I want to be. Like, that's how you got to, that's who you got to surround yourself with. You know what I'm saying? It's simple as that. It's really simple as that. That's the key to everything is just being with people that are like that. And um, people will join your team. People will join your team. I have literally, I literally have clients that are like, bro, I just want to see you win, bro. I just want to help you. I just want to see you win. And really, I want to see them win because I'm training them, helping them get right. But in reality, they also want to see me win. They're literally like, dude, I just, whatever I have to do, if you, like people that I know locally that I train, they're like, dude, if you want me to record you, I will. Literally, because I just want to see you win. Because they see the passion, bro. And and, it, and it's just, and it's, it just is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Charisma. He's just so cool, calm, cool, collected, allow others to feel valued, engaging presence and demeanor. So he's just cool. I get that all the time. He's just cool. I am. <laughs> no, let me stop. No, but for real. It's just, it's not that I'm this cool guy that's doing all these extravagant things. I'm not. I mean, half the time I'm in my room making these videos. But uh, the point is, it's just, I'm just someone that's relatable. Half the time I don't talk unless I need to. And half the time I will actually listen to you speak. And half the time, I'm just someone that's just, I don't know. I'm just genuine. I'm not trying to gas myself up. Oh, I'm this, I'm that. But I have to in order to explain the point. The point is, it's just, you're just cool. You just met that, you've ever met that guy or even that girl that is just cool, bro. Like you are around them and they're just cool. It, 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 it's just, he's cool. I don't know how to explain it. You know what I mean? They're just down to earth. They seem like. They're just someone that's even if they're not doing these crazy extravagant things that they're doing all it's not even it's just the energy, the vibe, the positivity, the just they're going they're in the present. Basically that's what it is. They're in the present and they're just not they're not just all over the place. You know what I mean? They're just that's just what they're doing. And they're just cool. I can't go any further. I'm just gonna repeat keep repeating the same thing over and over. Right? And yeah, that's engaging that that that's another way people feel valued by being someone that's just they know they'll they'll even tell their friends about you tell their friends about you they'll tell because you're just someone that's not you're not so pressed about much obviously you're serious when you have to be serious you're doing your job and all these things that's given but you're not so pressed you don't walk around with a stick up your ass you're just cool bro i'm gonna move on positive energy this is the last thing i put on here but you always see the glass half full you gotta be what's the opposite of pessimism is i forgot the oh, damn i forgot the word bro but you get what i mean be the opposite of being pessimistic optimistic you gotta be optimistic right you always see the glass half full 
you un you understand that life is a roller coaster there's ups and downs you leave people feeling good it's basically simple as that that sums everything up basically you leave people feeling good when they interact with you whether they had a bad day whether they had a good day whether they had a sad day whatever day when they finish interacting with you they feel a little bit better and that goes a long way trust me i know trust me i know bro literally i've come with people in the bank where i worked at where where i work at where literally they'll have the worst day they're off rip they're pissed off off rip they're already going crazy they're mad as hell they're giving me sh all this stuff i don't change my mood i don't change my demeanor i just hear them out say what i have to say that's it you know what i mean after i resolve their problem i end up fixing what they need their their mood gets a little better because i fixed their problem i ask them like hey, man so i you know what's going on with the day bro what They'll let me know everything. They'll go off and they're like, thank you so much. I feel a lot better. They'll leave. I've had it happen. So I'm like a damn therapist. It, it's actually crazy. And, and I'm not thinking about these things consciously in the moment. I'm not like, oh, I gotta act like this so they can be drawn to me. <laughs> no. All this stuff is just done subconsciously. I'm just now reflecting on everything, basically. But and you just leave people feeling good. Every, every, whenever you talk to someone and you don't even have to be upset. You just, you can be in a normal day, whatever. But you leave them and you feel like, dang, this guy was cool. This guy, I just feel good, bro. I had so many people. I have so many people that come up to me. They just tell me. Literally, they were literally, like this guy. This was like a couple, week, uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, He was like, I know you just have good chi. Chi means your energy, your vibe. He's just like, you just have really good chi, man. I could feel it as soon as I walked in the room. As soon as I walked through the door, I felt it. That's why I went to you. Everyone else was open. He went to me. Because he's just like, dude, you just have really good chi, bro. And then he was showing me kung fu moves. He like this guy was like, kung fu black belt. All this man, this guy was this guy was cool. But he was like, bro, it just is what it is. And then days after that, same thing. People come in, like, oh, you just have good energy. So I went up to you. Just, I'm just drawn to you all the time. Girls will literally, females, women, whatever, will literally wait for me. I'm they're drawn to me. I can't control that, but I know what it is. Because they tell me. They literally tell me. <laughs> they literally tell me. They're going up to me because they are drawn to me. They literally go up to me like that. There's some people that are crazy bold. They don't care. I've had a girl tell me that if we, I wasn't at work, she would have spin spiked my drink to, you know what I mean? Get me whatever. There's been people that write notes, leave their numbers. I get that all the time. There's people that just with their husbands and whatever, telling me, complimenting me. I see their husband in the back getting tight. It just crazy things. These are more attraction based stuff, but the point of the point of all this is that that's how you be magnetic, bro. I know this video is long, and I tried to make this structured. It's hopefully it's not too bad for you guys, but like I said, I'm not perfect. I I tend to yap. I tend to ramble. That's just something that's it's hard for me not to do. I get way into these videos, but if you got this far into the video, this is the end of the video. If you really got this far into the video, bro. Comment below, Unchained Society, because that's the community I'm going to make. That's going to be the name of the community. So if you got, if you say Unchained Society, you, I know that you're down to join because who's going to sit here and watch a 50, 30, I don't even know how long this video is going to be, like 40, 35, 30 minute video talking about this. Real ones, that's who, people that are really genuinely my fan. And I'm not saying people that don't watch the video are my fan, but you know, get what the, you get what I'm saying, bro. The point is, comment down that below if you got this far. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, bro. If you watched this far into the video and didn't subscribe, what the like that doesn't even make sense. And just that's 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 it, man. That's all I got for today. One on one coaching. I offer one on one coaching, obviously to get your body right, your mindset right, your appearance right, your style, swag, all that stuff, bro. So if you want to join that. Link in the bio. I'll put it in the comment too. But that's it for the video, man. Winter Arc. I'll see you guys in the next one.